Can't start the new year of snackage without looking back in December. And I look back and we like, because there was a lot of stuff. There's still gonna be a lot of stuff for uh, the next episode too, because I get because I still am going through like all my Christmas stuff, and then I'm, that I got, and then I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, I want it all. I wanted a big one for this year. I went all in on that. So, um, the first thing, laundry list of eats. You're gonna be like, how do you do this? It's th for the entire month. I didn't do this in like what you call it, but it was still like a lot, considering the month. But anyway. Smart Ones Chicken Quesadilla. You see here's a much, much nicer alternative to those Hot Pockets now that I, which I find foul because of the seasoning. They cut the fuck out of the shell of them now. I, just, I went back after a while, tried to, their um, taco, and I was like, oh, it's what's this on the outside? It's all seasoned. And, uh, now, uh, Smart Ones just has this regular soft tortilla that's got more inside than a Hot Pocket, too. Although the sleeve... For the smart ones, is fucking useless. I can't get your tortilla out of it. I had to rip the some bitch apart and throw it away and just eat it like that, which is already a. So you don't have like that protective sleeve. So you gotta. I still liked it and would recommend it despite its short sleeve comings. Mm -hmm. The chicken fajitas were also really good. Unfortunately, my other hang up for them is just the amount they give you. They give you like it's like a separate thing. They give you like tortillas on the side to make your own, so you can kind of fix it together and. They only give you two. They could have used four, in my opinion. Unless you just put the, like, load the fuck out of these two tiny ones, which I would, <laughs> probably wouldn't recommend. Another thing that was a son of a bitch to open, like, both sides of this had a, a rip here to open, and both wouldn't tear all the way through, so I had to use scissors just to get this small bag open. I first caught a glimpse of this on a Skype ad, of all places. Fuck you, Microsoft. Probably uh, may or may not have ran across these myself with or without them. They're planner's pouches, but they're meant to be dessert-based. So I picked up this banana split one because it was all peanuts. So I'm like, okay, good. Then I have to, like, go all the way out of my way to get all these other nuts I may or may not care for. All kinds of peanuts covered in vanilla yogurt, chocolate, strawberry yogurt, honey roasted peanuts, and some banana chips. Another really decadent one because they cover those peanuts in the vanilla, man. And they're the biggest pieces in there, so I was like, ooh, wow. <laughs> It's pretty good, but be forewarned now. Mountain Dew Kickstart. I probably talked to this before, but I found more of these on sale for a dollar, and I, I remember having... But this is the first time I had, like, three at once, but there's apparently more than that. They, I guess they came out with recently with new flavors. The limeade was foul, and considering what Mountain Dew is usually, this seems unforgivable. Maybe it's all the electrolytes that they put in there. For toast! There are exact words on the top of the can if you can't see that. The orange citrus was a little little bit better. It took the edge off a bit and made it more palatable to me, mostly because it reminded me... This is probably a bad thing to say this, but... um, It reminded me, honestly, of those orange motion sickness tablets I used to take as a really, really small kid. And those tablets were nicer than this drink than what I can from what I remember. The calorie count for this is not too bad though. Eighty for the whole can. Not a calorie the calorie counter myself, but I just felt it bared mentioning. The black cherry, which is brand new to me, was actually the best of the three that I've had so far. So But if I track down the other ones I don't even remember what picture up. I have like so many pictures. Oh I'm saying this right. Sidral Munde Munde? I feel like the T is silent. But you got the picture. It's an apple soda. I got this in another Jaritos flavor at the dollar store. Apple soda was okay. It is like carbonated apple juice, only with when you drink apple juice, you get some of that like after it tastes like real apple juice. This didn't. You know, it's, it, I was like, huh. So I was like, okay. It was, it was pretty good. Uh, Jaritos was the tamarind, which I have no clue what it is, but they continue to be like, yeah, good soda. I haven't had one of them I didn't care for yet, the Jaritos. So, find that brand, I recommend it. I knew they, I heard, I seen, not stores, but I, I heard they made a banana one. I must, I must find this. Pace Ready Meals, Fiesta Chicken and Rice. Basic stuff. If you've eaten microwavable Spanish rice before, you're not missing much here. And now it just has this sauce that doesn't thicken all that well, you know. So, Pace, more like pass. More Pringles tortillas. I 
smoke of these before and remember really, really liking the cinnamon ones. There were these regular flavor ones, which is just a tortilla Pringle. The nacho chuz, on the other hand, was like eating a Dorito Pringle. Closest thing you can get to that kind of amazing mesh of two solid snack eats. And I remember liking the salsa a lot, too. So, you know, like Doritos, Pringles continues to keep on keeping on. They haven't made a bad one for me yet. Totino's, makers of the great pizza rolls in the microwave. They try to s snack it up with their pizza chip wit crisps. This is definitely an odd one. You get that mix of cheese and sauce flavors. It's not something I would run out and get again. But if I ever find it on sale or anything, I'll pick it up. Meanwhile, Vu trying for the energy drink game and failing. I don't know, it feels like Vu would be the one brand that wouldn't go this route. I, just, I don't know, but uh, I got this orange pineapple and I forget what it was. I have a picture of it. It's a blackberry cranberry or something along those lines. I just, Half V8 Splash, which I personally was never all that keen about to begin with. And then you get the other half is the default energy drink taste. Got a little green tea in it also. It feels like they just threw a bunch of shit together on this and hoped it would taste good. This is by the Palmer Company. Uh, Yoohoo Candy Mini Bars. These were just solid chocolate eats. They, they didn't taste like a Yoohoo at all. I've been a long time since I had one, so I don't recall. But if you just want a sweet, solid, tiny bar of chocolate, recommended. Highly. This was just really good. I, I don't know if it tastes like a Yoohoo. Again, it's been a while, but I, I would definitely go out and try this. Bolt House Farms. Great, great stuff. Sadly, wish it wasn't so expensive. I just, I mean, even on sale, it was like a two for five, and they got like these small um, bottles that I downed because they were that good. <laughs> uh, strawberry Banana and the Mocha Cappuccino. Loved both of them. I usually see them as like a carrot or something like that, but... I've, Strawberry banana mocha cappuccino, and they were on sale. I was like, oh, let me give these a try. And that was amazing stuff. Combo's trying the sweet and salty once again. Um, I've seen caramel in pictures, but I haven't stumbled upon it uh, in a store yet. But these I found are the chocolate fudge. I was not too keen on the vanilla frosting. These work a little better just by basically being a chocolate-covered pretzel in reverse. Like, you get the chocolate on the inside, yeah. And these seem my they seem ideal for, like, fun doing if you have, like, a fun dude hot chocolate or something like that. But I guess it would kind of defeat the purpose by being a combo if it's not the pretzel outside. I'm not sure if the makers want to venture into that route, like, actually make them, like, uh, chocolate-covered combos. I don't think they would. If they need to try to do the sweet thing, maybe it's – wouldn't person wouldn't stop them from doing that. Guarana Brasilia. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but this was amazing. My, The gas station I go to keeps having these interesting newer imported stuff to eat and drink. It's where I got some of the gancitos and stuff like that. Or I think that might have been the Mexican eating place. But my gas station's starting to stock up on uh, interesting things. This was uh, very, very highly recommended. This was a, a really sweet soda, but not packed with a lot of flavor or carbonation like some sodas over here. Uh... I've seen cans of it on the internet. Mine was a two-liter bottle. Any way you can find this, get this. Honestly, I, I highly recommend it. I was not expecting what it was, but I was like, ooh, I like this. I also like the uh, Harborside Raspberry Iced Tea. Got this for a dollar, so if you want the... This one's just... It's just brisk, baby. You want that oomph that brisk iced tea had without having to spend a lot of money? This is for you. I got this at a, my Dollar Tree. I usually go with the Halls for cough drops. The only other big name is Luden's, which is more like candy. So with the latter in mind, I tried the Strawberry Banana. Sadly, these got around the time my folks usually get their usual candy for the holidays, that strawberry hard candy that's got the soft, chewy strawberry candy inside. That's what these reminded me of, except without the inside, you know. I was hoping for more banana. The strawberry game was too strong to let it come out, so this was, you know, acceptable. Lutens I would never use for what you call it. Still holding down the wild cherry game. That's that's been a while since I had that. I remember loving those as a kid. And I guess that was my cough drop of choice because I couldn't. I was like, eh, the holes are too hot. Now, now I use that all the time and it just because it works. But anyway, uh, like I said, this in the next month's edition of um the snacking vanilla. <laughs> 
going to be quite lengthy because I made a I made it like a friggin' bandit when it came to interesting snack foods and sodas. Um, the first thing I got for that Christmas was GGE Noodle Snack Wheat Crackers, these barbecue cubes, made in Taiwan. A very, very nice, subtle barbecue flavor that kind of, at first, it gave away to a really powerful black pepper aftertaste because that's one of the ingredients. This one... It takes getting a little bit of used to because I, I started eating more and more of it. I got less of the aftertaste. So this builds down, thankfully, and became like, hmm, this is really good. So yeah, I was just going to get past that in initial, like, oh, but, but, huge black pepper aftertaste that made it, like, spicy. I'm like, whoa, where'd that come from? If you want a snack food that's good for you on paper, I, I, these are Kasagai roasted green peas. They look like they would be a healthier version of corn nuts. They're nowhere near as hard though. Like corn nuts are like super crunchy, tough as hell. Love the ranch stuff, man. That's my that was my jam for a while. Got back into that after a while. But these are dried green peas covered in I guess rice flour to make it a little sweet and salty. These are pretty good. Thankfully, they weren't the wasabi ones, which I see more often than this. So. I don't know if these might be the regular ones might be a little harder to track down. Or maybe it's just because no one's buying the wasabi ones. You know, it's kind of like um, the Andy Caps cheese fries and all I see are the hot fries. Like, where's the che where's the cheese ones? Or, you know, because those are good. Just in time for the holidays, Grandpa Linquist. Can you like it? No, there's no V in there. Uh, but Grandpa Linquist Christmas Soda Scandinavian Yule Must. Yule is in Yule, which is the Swedish word for Christmas. Ah. This drink more like a a beer, and not a root beer, but like a beer. It's like a sweet beer. The, the, this took some getting used to as well, but this one I wasn't too keen on. It's like a, non it's like a sweet non-alcoholic beverage because you get like them wheats and hops or whatever it was that's in there. I don't remember. On the other hand, the Saranac Shirley Temple, probably the best thing I've had the month of December. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think it was... Because there was a couple of strong, strong contenders. I would tie this with the Garana Brasilia because that was really good too. Classic lemon lime soda with the juice from a jar of maraschino cherries, which I found you can get. I found out later you can get ju just the juice for it. It's called grenadine. I'll have to make one myself at some point. But this is super highly recommended. And I haven't. I don't think I've had the root beer yet. I got like a root beer sampler, of like ten different kinds of root beer, and I think I have even more than that in just the ten packs. I get so much. <laughs> just going through the stuff I know about first before I get to but yeah the Sanex Shirley Temple very very super highly recommended uh, and also something I highly recommend um, just for the nostalgia factor for one of these uh, do you remember cheeseburger Doritos they're back in Pringles form yeah these food truck style Pringles kicking chicken taco and cheeseburger I've, I've yet to have a Pringle I didn't like as a flavor yet either, so please keep these. I'm to this day lamenting the loss of cheeseburger Doritos. And uh if you can bring back those Mountain Dew ones that Doritos had at one point, that'd be great. Alright. <laughs> Next month's edition, so like I said, should be pretty long too. Multiple kinds of root beer and I think I've grabbed like one or two of those um Lester's Fixins food soda, so they're gonna be out there so that should be interesting yeah it was tough to pick the winner but let's just, just the three i recommend like they they were all fighting but because um Grand brasilia i didn't know what to expect with that and the pringles hit the nostalgia factor the kicking they can they can be a little bit spicy if you eat too much of them uh but the saranac shirley temple is, is that little extra nod for the win this year if i had to pick just one thing so yeah That'll do for this month. Thank you for listening. Take care. Hope you had a happy new year. One quick thing I forgot to mention before I wrap up. This isn't really a review. It's more of a follow-up because I mentioned uh, that I had the Cap'n Crunch sprinkled donuts. They changed them. Slightly. Now they're they're just a lot smaller now and most of the jimmies are on the inside. So it's like a weird cup thing, I guess, now. they've. I guess they, they tried something different. They wanted to make it a little more healthy even though it's still got the jimmies in there and now they're all like big jimmy clustered now <laughs> in the fucking inside of it <laughs> uh but anyway that'll do for this month
Take care. Thanks for listening.